Hi everyone, what is up? It is Pocky back at it again today, and today I'm going to show you how to basically create my overlay. Now, this is my starting screen. Uh, this is my chat scene. Um, yeah, it is, it's pretty awesome, if you ask me. I kind of like it. My PC face is kind of having a spaz attack, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, you have my gaming overlay, which looks like this, which has the main game in the middle. Uh, let's just say for this case, let's switch it over to Minecraft. Um, just right there, and then we can drag it out, you know. Drag it out like that. Yep, so this is my main gaming overlay. And I will basically teach you how to make this today, right here, right now. So, uh, the very first thing you basically want to do is you want to get some sort of background, right? And this background can be anything, okay? It can be like, uh be a background of trees, it can be a background that looks hella awesome, it can be anything you want. Now, in this case, what I did for my backbang, that for my background, was basically this. And basically, in order for me to do this, what I had to do was I needed to create a seamless pattern. So, seamless pattern, uh, if you just google seamless pattern, you know, in browser, account creator, or just use this one, pattern nico, completely free. Uh, you just want to just get started, so just press create new, and then you want to select the color. This can be anything, let's just choose, I don't know, blue maybe, right here. Okay, uh, let's upload a custom image, this one will be hockey. And then, you know, just drag it. Drag it and then like, I don't know, give it a rotate, you know, make it look unique, and then it's basically going to constantly repeat itself. So, just for this case, let's do this 200 times 200, and let's re-upload it, and then it'll be a smaller. It'll be smaller. Okay, it's bugged out. Don't know why that bug. There we go. So, there will be more pockies on this screen right now, because it's smaller. For well, now, let's just say we will get the the whole width and the whole height of of this pixel box. So that looks good to me. Right here. So what you want to do is you want to press download. And basically what this will generate, this will generate this background over here. Right here. And the very first thing you want to do is basically put this into your streams. So switch over. New scene. Bada bing bada boom. Create a new image and create a, uh, let's just pen. And I don't want this to move, right? So this won't move. But the only issue I have right now is if I had a game running, let's just say I had Minecraft running, the background, you won't be able to see it. And in order to counteract this, we have to open a photo editing software in my case, the one I used was paint.net. It is completely free to download. Uh, you guys can find out how to get paint.net, or you can use Photoshop, you can use anything you want. And it's completely up to you guys. So let's let's start off by opening the background. So we'll go into downloads, open off the background right here. So the very first thing that I did was um, I had to distinguish where my boxes would go, right? So. For now, I what I had thought about was I had I had like my main my main box here for you know my main game or whatever I'm streaming. This can be you know anything anything pretty much. Just try to get like sixteen to nine ratio. Try try. We can change it later in the future. Um, I kind of like white, and basically what I did as well, I also added a object outline to give the rim a little bit of effect. And then you can you can create you know increase the softness so it it doesn't give the sharp corners. Change the color out a bit maybe. I don't know what goes all blue. You can even change it to black if you want. You know. Basically, you can change it to anything you want. I don't know what goes well with blue. Red. Okay, it's Christmas, but so blue and red works. Okay, so now we have this. Now I recommend you use the magical wand on the second layer, click on it, 
go back to the original layer and then just press delete. And basically what this does is it inc it basically removes it, so whatever's in the background it will still display. So let's now save this as test1. Place that. Flatten, right? Don't close your paint.net. Just want to go back because you want the multiple layers still. So now let's test this. And let's go into temp, new folder, new folder, test1. As you can see, you, you guys can see my Minecraft screen. Perfect. Perfect. Now what I recommend you do is, um, basically, I recommend Streamlabs. I believe it's Control, when, when everything else is Shift. And as you can see, it's not directly one-to-one -one with the, with the what was it, ratio. I'm literally just missing, like, barely any spot. So I like to, like, align it up to something on the background that I can remember. So in this case, it would be one-to-one -one ratio with the P. Go back to this, and then we can slightly modify it. Let's push this up to the P section. Perfect. And let's re-upload this. We upload the picture, so we get the background back. Control C, Control V. Right, and then we can re-delete the picture. Bam. And then we can resave over it as a PNG. Button. Done. Right. As you can see, may maybe I did it, but basically, you know, like, there's eventually, you you'll basically be okay with the dimensions. So that's, that's perfect for me right now. So the next step you want to do is create a chat bar. So your chat box can go anywhere, can go on the bottom, probably over here somewhere, you know. It can be over here, it can, it can be anywhere you want. For me personally, I have my chat box right here. This is this is where my chat box is. So it's basically just a rinse and repeat, but this time we're doing something different. So let's see, chat box right here. I should say it's up to there maybe. Uh, repeat the effects for consistency. Make sure that this is aligned perfectly with this one. Perfect. And then essentially what you want to do is copy and paste the system. So you magic wand this section. Now go into a new layer and then choose a dark color. It can be any dark color. I I think red is okay. Paste it in. And then you want to change this transparency or opacity to something like 125. Something you're happy with. Something that gives it that dark color effect and you can read white text easily. 150 seems good to me. Okay, so that's your that's your basically chat bar. Uh, what goes over here would be my character. So my character would go right here, and over here, down here, would be my stream labels. You know, my event tab, anything you want. So in case of stream labels, let me just copy and paste what I just did. Uh, white. Right here, stream label, let's just say, I don't know, like that, and we can just copy and paste, just to see. Make sure it's aligned perfectly, like so. Okay, so now you want to do save, and then you want to save this as test number one still. Okay. Flatten. Now you want to unflatten it. it. Just make it a rule of habit to unflatten it. As you can see, my Streamlabs has changed. So let's add my chat box right now. And then let's just say, you know, something random. I, I don't quite like this chat box. Let me try another one. Maybe, maybe my other chat room chat box. No, that, that, that chat box was good. That chat box was good. I lied. That chat box was the best. For now. And then you just want to make sure that everything aligns. As you, as you can see, you just want to move it slightly. 
There we go. So everything aligns now, and then you can just increase the height. I don't know, 600? Sounds good to me. Push this up. Maybe 650, actually? 650 something. Right here, 650. And then you just want to, you know, just test it out. Test out, you know, maybe long text as well. A little bit to the right. That looks okay. That looks okay to me. Uh, let's add an avatar for my VR model. Game. Bada bing, bada boom. Use my pre existing one. Shrink this down. So uh, this is basically how I created my model, um, and and then we add stream labels. Now stream labels is very basic. You just you know, yeah, that's what you do. That's what you do. And basically, um, in order to have this scrolling effect, what I recommend you do is um, obviously create a new stream label. In this case, I'm going to create a new X voice and call it temp. Just, just to mimic it, and then I can say recent donate. Change it up a bit, you know. Change the color so you guys can see it better. Change it to bright red. Okay, so let's just say we want this whole scrolling effect, right? How, how, how you would do that is basically you would right click it, press on filters, go into add, scroll, want to change this. So obviously vertical, it goes up, as you can see. This does not look appealing to me. So I prefer going it horizontally. As you can see, it's horizontal. The only issue I have with this now is, do you see where it says, where it says donate recently? Yeah, you, you just want to add a space to that. So it says two words, donate recently. Now, as you can tell from the, from the, what was it, overlay, this, this ain't reaching out all the way to the end box. You can just modify this by reopening filters again. Oh, wait, I, I did the wrong filter. Reopening filter, and then you want to do a limit if, right here. And then you just want to experiment until, you know, you hit the end. So let's just say 360. Okay. Yeah, 360 is perfect. And then you just want to drag it to the left. And then you want to add anything else apart from that. Now, in order to create my starting soon screen over here, essentially what I did was um, I used the background. So let's create a new, create a new one. I basically had a background, and then I said temp, temp, and then I used this background. But the thing is, we have to modify this background. Why? I will show you why. If we add the scroll filter right here, right now, to this picture right here, it will basically bug out eventually. As you guys can see, it, it doesn't look good. This does not look good. Right, so what I recommend you do, go back into your settings, go into your background, and I strongly recommend you crop it, Till it's the last like copy in that row that's full so if, as you can see on the right hand side uh, this bit's cut off and on the bottom the bottom bit's cut off so we can just copy this make a new thing control V save this as you know starting soon starting I'm gonna just call it starting okay and then we can just redo this as starting And then we just need to expand it a little. There we go. And then the text, the text is exactly the same. Um, basically a text file, and it just says starting soon. Expand it. And then add the filter. Mine's going at 42 speed, going on a constant loop. Problem solved, you can add some cute pictures in the background, etc, etc. That's basically it. 
And yeah, that's it. That's my tutorial. So by the end of this, you should have something similar to this. Um, you have you know, random, random text box. I have my random overlay. And yeah, thank you guys for watching.